Hey, Mr. Epper. Hey, Anthony, how you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, you got a couple minutes? Sure. Just want to talk to you, man, just for a couple minutes. Okay. Listen, I, uh, I think probably the best way to start this conversation is for me to just simply apologize, first of all, for coming in on you unexpectedly. This is your home, and I just want you to know I respect you for that. Um, and it was probably not right. That's no, all good. Yeah. We're family. So. Yeah, well, you know, I, I caught you in a, at a bad time. The second thing is, I apologize for the blow up. I mean, it was just, it, it was a crazy day. And, ah, yeah. That was crazy. Crazy things were said. Yeah. And I, I just know that uh, I'm just concerned about you and Amber, as any father would be. But I just need you to understand, I'm, I'm just as concerned about you as I am about her. And the reason I say that is because you're the man of the house. You're the leader. What I told you the other day about you being responsible for joy and peace and love in your house, I really meant that. It's that man's responsibility to create that environment. And I know you and Amber probably got plans to have kids, at least I hope you do, you know, and, and I'm just a little concerned uh, about how those kids would be raised, especially in this time, uh, you know, the times that we live in. Uh, after all, they would be my grandchildren. And before I even <laughs> talk about the grandkids, I want you to know, man, listen, I am so comfortable here. This is this is a great house. I mean, it's just beautiful. And I was thinking maybe I might stay around for about another six months. Uh, <laughs> six months. Okay, man, I'm, I'm just joking. Oh. I just, I'm just <laughs> That's joking. Just you got I, me. I just you got to, me. I saw the tension you, in you. Oh, no. And I wanted you to lighten me. it up a little no, bit. No, it's, it's, it's fine. That was, a, that was a good joke. But in all seriousness, man, I spent 40 years as an educator, educating children, you know. Mm -hmm. And at my age, you know, even at this uh, a guy that's 76 years old, man, I'm still concerned about kids, man. I have been there in the classroom. I know the kids who were raised in good families. You can see it. You can just see it in their faces. You see it in their, their scores, the things that they do. You can tell where, uh, f where, where there are families where there's tension and, and, and distrust and abuse and abuse. And I just don't want to see that happen to you and Amber. You guys deserve more than that. You know, the thing is like, love, lo love is a heavy thing. You know, and, and but you gotta always give it. You gotta always have that in mind. I'm not sure what you had in mind when it came down to, to roll and and uh, I, I know that might have been an awkward moment uh, for the yeah. people in the in the room and I don't know if it was an awkward moment for you or not. It definitely was. I understand also how it is when someone cheats on you. You're not the only man that has experienced that. I had a woman from Virginia, man. I, I loved her, man. And I, I thought she was the best things, you know, ever. And she cheated on me. It was hard to deal with. Now, Amber's mom, on the other hand, beautiful lady, man. I never had a problem with her. <laughs> and she left here, but that's God's business. But when it comes to you and Amber and, and children, you know, I, I, I know perhaps you might want to have a baby. I mean, that's usually the agenda when... Two young people get married. And I yeah. know that you would be a great father. I know that Anna would be a great mother. And you guys are intelligent. You're attractive. You can, I know you can get it done. But there's some things you got to understand. There's some things that you just have to really just, you know, sacrifice. And what I'm talking about is this. I'm talking about getting out of yourself and putting more of yourself into the position of being the love giver. You know, being that prolific person in the house that just says, hey, this is my house. I'm going to bring the peace. I'm going to bring the joy. I'm going to bring the happiness.